We've got uh, Philadelphia taking on Tampa Bay. Uh, Philly is favored by one and a half. The over under on this one is 43. And this is one too that, uh, you know, is a very interesting one. I I could see this one potentially getting into shootout territory. Um, but it is also a interesting thing from the standpoint that the, um, the Eagles, you know, may very well be without, uh, AJ Brown may very well be with, uh, and, uh, Devonta Smith already ruled out on this one. So it could be a, uh, Dallas Goddard type of week here. Could see some big things there. Uh, I do think that we see a whole lot of Saquon Barkley. I think we do see a pretty good performance. Um, you know, a lot of, a lot of rushing and a lot of total touches by uh, Saquon this week. So I think that he is in line for potential QB or I'm sorry, RB one on the week and uh, could be very, very good there. As far as the Tampa side of things go, I think that Baker uh, and uh, Chris Godwin hook up several times throughout this one. And we see a really, really good performance on this one. Uh, I do think that we see Mike Evans have a uh, resurgence and return um, and really would not surprise me if we see both Chris Godwin and Mike Evans top 12 end of week performance thoughts on this game. No, I, I agree with a lot of that. Um, I think Philly, I have Philly winning this game. I want to take the over. I'm expecting a lot of points here. I'm hoping AJ Brown plays, but I'm not expecting it. Uh, Saquon, like I said, RB one for the week. So I feel really confident about that. And then for Tampa, Godwin's going to continue to get his, especially with as much as he's playing out of the slot. Um, you'd like to see Mike Evans get a little bit more than what he did against la- uh, last week against Sertan, but uh, Sertan's done a good job shutting everybody down. So I think he is a little bit more relevant this week also. 